Today, we're rotating shapes on a coordinate grid, but we're not rotating it around the origin. Okay? So, for example, up until now, we always had shapes, and we would put our pencil point on the origin, and we'd rotate the shape, and that's where it would end up. However, today, as you can see in this example, we're rotating the shape 90 degrees counterclockwise about the point S. That means we're going to put our pencil point on the point S and rotate the shape from there. So it should end up right there. It's a little different, as you can see. So when we held our point at the origin, the shape was on the right side of the y-axis. However, if we put our pencil point on point S and rotate it, the shape is on the left side of the y-axis. It's going to be oriented the same way, but it's in a different location. Now, it's easy to rotate using tracing paper, but as soon as you take the tracing paper away, it's a little hard to visualize. So, my tip in class today was draw fake axes. Okay, we're not used to rotating around points that aren't the origin, so make the new, this point your new origin by making a fake x-axis here and a fake y-axis here. Now, we can rotate the shape about this fake set of axes, and it would be easier to do, okay? So, this point Q is four steps to the right and one step up. Okay, we're rotating counterclockwise. I like to put the arrow there to remind me. Four right, one up. Turn my paper. Four steps right, one step up. That's my new point Q. Same with R. Four right, one down. Turn my paper. Four right, one down. Okay. P is two left, one up. Two left, one up. That's my P prime. And N is two left, one down. Turn my paper. Two left, one down. R prime. And there is my new shape. Rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the point S. If you want to double check it, here is my original shape on tracing paper. My pencil points on S. Lands right where it needs to be.